These are so similar to the actual Lululemon item. It's unreal, as I always say in my dupe videos, dupes are just getting better and better. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey, and if you're new here, I'm honored to have you. In this video, I'm gonna cover some Lululemon dupes that I found on Amazon. I love Lululemon, their quality is just impeccable, but sometimes that price is just too steep to really justify. <laughs> So here are some really great dupes for some of Lululemon's fan favorites. So I actually have done another Lululemon dupe video on my channel before, and it was from a few years ago. And if you're looking for an aligned tank dupe or aligned legging dupes, or I think there's a defined jacket in there, if you're looking for those types of things, I will link the video down below or show a picture of the thumbnail right here so you can easily find it on my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you nine Lululemon dupes, and they are the Ebb to Street crop top, which is one of my favorite things from Lulu, but they always sell out of it. I'm gonna show you a dupe for the track that three inch high rise shorts, which is a personal favorite of mine and another item on Lululemon's website that just never seems to stay in stock. The Key to Balance tank top, the Like a Cloud long line bra, the Diamond Dye Align leggings, which as you can tell given the shirt I'm wearing, I love the Diamond Dye stuff from Lulu, but it's just so expensive. So this is a killer dupe, can't wait to show you. A dupe for the cool racer back top and it's a crop version. The power pivot tank. And then lastly for the bottoms, a dupe for the Align Joggers. And I did do an Align Jogger dupe in my last Lululemon video, but this is another one that I just see everywhere so I wanted to try it out and it's pretty good, spoiler alert. I also have an Ebb to Street just regular tank top, which again is one of my favorite staple pieces. So if you've watched my last Lululemon haul video, I did a direct side-by-side -side of the Lululemon item with the dupe, and you could see blatantly and clearly how similar they were. Well, I don't actually have a Lululemon version of all these dupes that I found because again, my wallet just can't quite afford to do that. So what I'm gonna do is base it off of what I know from either seeing it in the store or online. And I do get a super, 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 super small <laughs> commission for the link that you click on down below, but it's a really nice, easy way to support my channel. And I really appreciate if you would shop through my links. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Now for the moment that you have been waiting for, and the reason why you're watching this video, the Lululemon dupes. <laughs> so first up, we have the Ebb to Street crop dupe, and this dupe costs $22, whereas the Lululemon one costs $58, so it's a great deal. <laughs> and I actually got this in a size four, so I sized down because I'm normally a size six, but this top is actually pretty stretchy anyway, so I could even probably wear a size four in the Lululemon version, but I'm really happy that I sized down because it probably would have been a little bit too large in the side boob area. As you'll see in my try on, it's kind of, if I had bigger boobs, it may have been a little too close for comfort there, but it has the same length, same ribbed texture, same scoop line, the same razor back, and the long tag that Lululemon is notorious for. It also does have a built-in bra too. I'm 50-50 on if I would recommend this. This personally worked for me and I'm gonna keep this top because the way that it cuts, while it is a little bit low, I don't feel like I'm going to be falling out at all, but that's because I'm also not super large in this area. So if you are, then maybe keep that in mind with the sizing and maybe a size up would actually help that. So if you're able to buy two sizes and you can return one, then I would recommend doing that. It is very soft and very comfortable to wear. Paired with the Ebb to Street crop top are the Track That High Rise 3 inch short stoop, that's a mouthful, <laughs> that I found on Amazon for $25 and the Lululemon cost $58, so again, a good deal there. I ordered these in a size medium and the Lululemon ones are high rise, but I would find that these are actually a true high rise as they go up to my belly button 
and the Lululemon ones are a little bit below that and I have to kind of really pull them up to get that high rise look. So I actually like this design a little bit better than the track that short. So if you love those shorts, I would definitely try these ones out. You can see it has that cinched waistline that is extremely flattering on. It has the looser cut fit there and you can see that these shorts are a scoop on the bottom. recommend these shorts they're comfortable they fit me well and if you're looking for something to run in or do high intensity exercise in these are a great option next up we have the key to balance dupe and this top is $24 I got a size medium and the lululemon one cost $68 so it's nearly a third of the price and I right away just have to tell you that this was the most flattering top that I have tried on in a really, really long time. It's compressive, but not too compressive. The material is really soft. I absolutely love the back with the cross. And it actually has the same seams on this top that the Lululemon one has. And while I don't have that one on hand, you can see the seams online. There's a seam in the middle along the sides and seams in the back. And pumped because I think I'm gonna get as many colors of this top as I possibly can. This is my absolute must buy of this haul so far. Next, we have the Like a Cloud Long Line Bra Dupe, and this dupe costs $19, whereas the Lululemon one costs $68. And I also got this in a size medium, but I would 100% size down and I'm going to, I'm gonna reorder this and get a size small. I am a size six, as I said, but this is just a very low support bra and extremely stretchy. So for me to get a little bit of a tighter fit, I'm gonna size down while it is still comfortable as a medium. Features that are similar to the Leica Cloud bra are these dual straps right here and the scoop neck that is super flattering and also the length is pretty much identical to what a long line bra is. The main difference is that the back has a crossed design whereas the like a cloud bra does not have a cross design. The two straps just go right down on each side. Another big difference is the fabric. So the like a cloud fabric is just insanely soft and this is still incredibly soft and I would say that it's a performance based material but it's not the exact same as the like a cloud. So it does have bra pads inside of it which I know that the like a cloud I believe does not have bra pads in them. It's just molded cups. So that is another difference, but these bra pads are actually really nice bra pads that are not all wonky and weird like some can get. This is the item that I just couldn't believe was actually on Amazon and when I saw it, I instantly added it to my cart for this haul and I'm so excited. I'm gonna try out some of the other colors because this is very similar to the diamond dye color I already have. But this is the diamond dye Align Leggings dupe and these cost $33 and I got a size small. I am gonna do a side-by-side -side with the Align dye leggings that I already have, but you can see right away based on this shirt I have. So here's my shirt, here are these leggings. You can see how similar this dye pattern is, which is amazing. Something to note with the sizing is that sometimes with my Align leggings, I will size down from my normal legging size. So normally I'm a size six, but with my Aligns, I can sometimes wear a size four, and I prefer that since they can be very low compression and the lower size makes them feel a little bit tighter to my body which I personally like but if you don't I would say just stick true to size with these leggings. So some of the key differences that I'm going to point out before I do the side to side is that this does have a deeper back seam and booty contour 
So you can see it right there. The Alai leggings do have a really nice booty contour, but these are a little bit deeper, which actually is very flattering on and it doesn't look weird at all. Other thing is that the seams on the Camo Fitness ones are a little bit darker than what the Lululemon Align seams are, which I think that's a stylistic move and I actually really like it personally. I would 100% recommend these leggings. These are a great buy. Even just as a pair of leggings to have this amazing quality for $33 is just insane. And to have them look exactly like a Lululemon dupe is even more crazy. So I would definitely check out some of the other stuff in their store as well since the key to balance top is actually from them as well. And those are two items that have been my favorite in this haul. So definitely check these out at the link down below. So we have a dupe for the Cool Eraser Back Tank, and this dupe cost $24, whereas the Lululemon one cost $48. I also ordered this in a size small, but looking back, I probably should have gone a size medium given what the size chart recommends for a size six. But the size small worked, and it was just a tighter fit, which again, I personally don't mind, but I would definitely say true to size and check out what the size chart offered. I may even return this for a size medium just to see which one fits better, but the style of this top is very cute, very flattering on. I absolutely love where it hits me, and it's right above my leggings, so I really like that fit. On the back is a racer back style, which I always just find to be an adorable cut for tank tops. So overall, I would recommend this item. I would check out all the colors that they have and make this a staple in your closet. We have a dupe for the Power Pivot Tank and this dupe costs $16 and the Lululemon one costs $58. So the key with the Power Pivot Tank that is actually really nice is that you can wear it either way. So this way is the scoop neck and it's a high neck or you can wear it the other way which is a V neck. People wear it both ways and it's super cute on. I am gonna be pairing it with a flow wide bra in this try on video so you can see how it would look with a bra on underneath. It has the same ribbed detailing that the Power Pivot Tanks have at Lululemon. Another detail that this dupe has that the Power Pivot Tank has is this seam right along here and it's a long line fit. So it again fits perfectly with a high waisted pair of leggings. And that's always key for me because I love wearing crop tops and I don't always like to show my stomach, so this is a great alternative for that. Looked at this tank all the time in Lululemon store. I just haven't personally pulled the trigger on it, but now that I have this amazing dupe, I don't think I will because this is so cute for the price too. You just really can't beat it. Last pair of bottoms that I'm gonna be showing in this video is a dupe for the Align joggers. And this dupe costs $31, whereas the Lululemon ones cost $98. I got these in a size medium, and as you can see, it is the camo pattern. By the way, I can tell some differences with the material. This material is a slick performance feel material, whereas the Align Joggers have that Nulu material. It's a buttery soft and can definitely pill, whereas these will not pill. So if you're looking for some nice athletic joggers that you don't have to baby, I would definitely recommend these as a strong alternative. I love my Align joggers, but I have personally not found them to be the most durable, and I've only had them for two years, but they look like they have been worn for like 10. Maybe I'm just being a little bit biased right now, but I actually really like that this has that slick material that won't pill. Another difference is that in the back, the Align joggers have, again, that kind of curved seam a little bit, whereas these just have a flat seam in the back, but it does have two large pockets on the side. If you look at the bottom, it has that same tapered cuffing 
look that the Align Joggers have. I got these in a size medium, but I'm going to exchange these for a size small. Because these are joggers, they do have that looser fit, so if you prefer the looser baggier fit, then stay true to size. But I like mine to be a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna get a size small. last item in this haul is a dupe for the Epta Street tank and this may be a hundred percent dupe it has the same cut as the Epta Street has it has the same width of the straps as it has same exact back minus the logo I think that's pretty much the only thing that this top does not have that the Lulu one has this was $20 and I got this in a size medium, whereas the Lululemon one is $58. Also think that this color is a very close dupe for the green fern color that was wildly popular with Lululemon. The built-in bra that the Ebja Street tank has and it has the same ribbed detailing that I will show right here. Incredibly stretchy and that is one of the things that I love about the Epta Street tank. I actually really like tying it up sometimes in a knot in the middle. is supportive it's comfortable I would say it's like a medium support depending on the size that you order it could be a light support but this is one of my favorite Lululemon pieces and I didn't think that the dupe would compare to it because I love it so much but this is a very great dupe so overall I hope that you got some really good deals out of this video drop me a comment to let me know which pieces you ordered personally my must buys from this video are the dupes for the ebb to street tank the diamond dye leggings and the key to balance tank. Those are all such comfortable, flattering pieces that you just can't go wrong with. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too and give this video a thumbs up. It's such an easy way to support me and the time it takes for me to do these videos. And it also lets me know that you like these types of videos. So don't forget to give me that thumbs up.